Your pocket is a crucial part of your run. So many people from beginners to experts, the one thing that they wanna do is let their pocket collapse. The pocket is the distance between the steer and your horse. If this is the steer and this is your horse, the distance right here is your pocket. One thing we all wanna do, when the head rope goes on the steer, we think it's our turn to do our job. So the first thing that happens is, is we wanna get right against the steer. We let that pocket collapse, we make our horse's job a lot harder. Not only can we not see the feet, but now our horse has to stop, let the steer get away, speed back up so we can throw a rope and then stop again. If we can maintain that pocket and keep it right here, we can see the feet all the way through the corner. We don't lose sight of our target. We can roll through there. Our horse doesn't have to slow down. He keeps that same speed and then you can ride him to your shot. Here's some examples. The pocket is the distance between the steer and my heel horse. And as you can see right there, I've got about six to eight feet between the steer's tail and my horse's nose. And what that is, is the, the importance of that is everything in your horse position because if I get too close, I cannot see my target, which is the feet. I can't see what I'm wanting to throw at. And I've always said that when you're throwing a baseball or a football, you wanna make sure you're looking at what you're throwing at. And so many of us get too close to the steer, lose sight of our target, and then try to make a shot. So that's why we've got this overhead shot right here. So we can show you that distance through the corner. Notice my swing over the steer's back, but I'm never in a position where I lose sight of the feet. All the way through the corner and all the way up, up until I deliver my rope, I can clearly see both feet.